guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do a most requested video of my channel if you're following me for so long you guys know that i colored my hair i think for so many times i changed my hair color so many times like once red once golden once green and now it's like green ash blue so many colors are there in my hair but you know what guys i love doing pastel colors or something like this I colored my hair like last september and now it's still now it's there the green color my favorite color is still there and i'm loving it and i don't want this color to fade out because you know how much money we really spend on this type of colors and they bleached and then they this type of colors so i really don't want my colors to go off in like 10 to 15 days so i really love to maintain my colored hair and don't make it dry that much you guys have asked me a lot of time that how do i maintain my colored hair i really follow lots of things and that i'm going to share with you guys i was like planning to do this type of video for you all so now i'm finally making this video for you all i hope you guys will find this video helpful and if you want to know how i take care of my colored hair then please keep on watching guys and please do watch till the end to know all the tips and tricks of how to maintain your colored hair the first thing that i'm going to share with you guys after listening to it you must be thinking that what she is saying oh my god it's not possible but trust me guys if you are doing this type of beautiful colors you really don't want i don't think anybody in this world spending money for their hair color and they want that colors to fade in just like 10 to 15 wash like that or it's just fade out so for that how will you maintain your color for that you need to wash your hair once a week or max to max you can wash at least twice a week it's like it's not mandatory to wash your hair every day I tell you guys is that the more you do shampoo the more your scalp becomes dry it washes off the oil from your scalp and it becomes itchy or it becomes very dry and that it becomes very look unruly or doesn't look healthy so this is like a myth that you need to wash your hair every day really tie my hair up like a bun and then just wash my body and yes that's how i maintain my color and this is the first thing that i do and this helps me to keep my hair color intact so the next thing that i want is that i swear by this thing is that Deep blonde dry shampoo. Like after two to three days, if your hair becomes little oily or looking voluminous, then you can use deep blonde dry shampoo. This is really really nice. I really swear by this, and it just make your hair like so voluminous. And you really look good, you know, guys. So. you can go for a dry shampoo you can just apply your dry shampoo just shake it well and you can apply like this and you can see a volume will be added in your hair as you guys can see it's already adding like volume to my hair and this is like <laughs> and the next thing that i'm going to tell you guys which will avoid making your scalp dry which is the main thing that we all really want to know so the main thing that i generally follow before doing shampoo you just need to use your preferred oil i'm telling you 110 times guys you need to know which oil or which shampoo suits your hair the most you need to, you need to know that first because i have tried lots and lots of oil and shampoos but it really didn't suit my hair and then the hair fall happens and so on i really didn't like that thing so later on i 
started use this hair oil from Ambe and this is Amla hair oil. I don't like Dabar Amla hair oil. I don't know why but uh, I love this one. This really really helps my hair to go and doesn't make my scalp dry at all. And I not only use this, I'll show you what all I mix before doing the shampoo. The hair oil you need to apply one hour before going to the shampoo. Just take the oil right here, the amount you need. I generally use this type of vitamin E capsule for my hair because it really makes my hair soft and nice. So I prefer to use this. You can go for it guys. I already made a video with this vitamin E capsule, how it helps your hair to grow and so on. I'll just tag it here. If you want to see that video, you can Go and watch that video also that is very very helpful i'll just take one capsule for now and show you guys you just need to prick it and the oil vitamin e oil will come out and just you can mix with that oil your preferred oil and stir it and stick it and then apply on your scalp in this manner it's very very nice guys if you apply it, do not make your hair dry first of all. Secondly, and the one way that you're not washing your hair, it will really make your hair nourish and it won't make your hair dry at all. The hair oil you need to apply one hour before going to the shampoo hair. So next I'll share with you the shampoo that I use. So I use Moroccan oil shampoo. I really 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 love this shampoo, you know guys. It's like best shampoo I've ever used. It's just make my hair so soft and so shiny. I mean, I really love it. You can get this shampoo from Nykaa.com. I already shared with you guys once or twice in my Insta stories. Yeah, and because you guys always ask me what do I use and I have done lots of live sessions in that I have shared that I use Moroccan oil shampoo so you guys can get this shampoo from Nykaa.com original one you can get from Nykaa.com and you can also get the serum both are only nice and the next thing that I'm going to share with you is a serum or anything which you can apply on your hair which will make your hair look soft when you are not doing shampoo or something like that means from inside your hair should be healthy each and every second so for that I use this one matrix smooth spread serum this is very nice before that I used to use this one I already made a video of this and then I shifted to this both are of the nice but I feel this suits my hair more so I used it and recently recently guys I've included this thing in my hair care colored hair care routine they already made a vlog like I went to clinic session and from there I got this clinic moisture search and from there I came to know that I can use this for my hair and it's really really nice to use on your hair so I started using this clinic moisture search and you won't believe guys I saw a tremendous miracle in my hair growth or split in or whatever you can say uh, every day before going to sleep I apply this moisture search and you won't believe guys it just make my hair so soft just take it on your fingers, rub it and take your hair ends and just apply it here when you are going to sleep and the next day when you'll get up you'll see after 15 days you'll notice that it has become so soft and there is no splittings and I am like so much happier and recently I started using this this is so good for your skin and hair like I should do a hack video on this like this is like a favorite thing nowadays now. so yes these things are really very really important guys you know and the next thing that is like some people complains a lot the hair is becoming very means, oily after some days after one to two days those who people travels a lot I also travel a lot because, but I feel I'm lucky that my hair doesn't oily up to 
last few days because I used this dry shampoo. You can also use it, guys. And uh, but then also people complains a lot, names me a lot that uh, their hair becoming very nice, oily. So for those people, I can just tell some hair styling or tips and tricks that how can you avoid this without doing the shampoo and all dry shampoo is must so you must apply this dry shampoo then you can do a bun on your head or you can do braids on the side and like top knot hairstyle and just do some hair curls if you guys are following me on insta you guys know that how much i love to do hairstyle which will doesn't make your hair look like oily or something like that like there are so many ways to make your hair look voluminous i'm doing middle partition but if you do this side suddenly it's looking so voluminous just on the crown bar isn't it guys and if you just do this side it's also adding a crown because i've done middle partition and this two part were fully flat and when I'm applying on other part so it's like showing so much volume on your hair so you can do that thing so for the time being I'm loving this middle part what say guys Thank you.